name is Thomas Doolin. I'm the director for the transit systems here in Fresno EOC. Thomas, the new V team has been working with you for a long time. Everybody has been very excited about working with you on, on this project. Mm -hmm. um, share with us, like, how did you come up with this vision for Fresno EOC? To be honest, uh, when I started here, don't laugh too loud, but uh, I was like, where's our solar? Why don't we have solar? And my whole first idea was on this back wall of this conference room was to have a solar wall. And then from there, it just spun off and we got introduced to uh, Nuvi and that's where we're at now. And the, you've already started to electrify some of the vehicles that, that you are using, the food delivery vehicles. Yes. Um, you know, when did you start and how has been the experience? Um, we, we work a lot with our Ford local dealership. Um, those came on there a lot. The deal was too good for us to pass up. So we actually purchased three vehicles, three electric Ford transit cargo vans, and we utilize those for food service uh, for the local area. And, and how has been the experience for the drivers? The drivers love them. They love that they don't have to go to the gas station at the end of the day or the beginning of the day. They come back into the yard, they plug them in, and then they walk away. They come back in the morning, and it's got a full tank. Yeah. You know, I was thinking about it the other day. I, I never think about going to a gas station <laughs> either because I've been driving here for a mm -hmm. long time. And, and sometimes you forget that you maybe, you know, just plug it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> any, any issue in getting, used, getting them used to plug versus <clears throat> uh, putting gasoline? No, they, they took to it right away since day one. Um, I haven't seen anybody forget to plug it in. Um, plus, if they do, we have enough people walking around that somebody will go and actually plug it in for them. The, you know, you said that you know, initially putting solar on the, on the back of, mm -hmm. of the building. Um, now this has become a project with like 2.5 megawatt of solar, 1.6 megawatt of batteries, nearly 60 charging stations, 37 of them bi-directional. Um, like, what were the steps? Like, how did that happen, the growth of the project like that? Coming from a nonprofit and speaking with your team, they were very helpful in taking us the right direction of what we need and what we don't need. So the vehicle to grid was one of their selling points. Since we are a nonprofit, one other way for us to generate some funds so that we can give back to our community. And um, any last word you want to share with, uh, you know, what are your expectations moving forward in terms of, you know, the projects roll out and... Working with Nuvi and working with the project uh, manager, everybody's very professional, they're very knowledgeable, and they, they, they enjoy sharing the information that they know to help teach me about what exactly is going on. Um, I know now after we've done this, everything is going to come faster than probably I would like it to, but um, we look forward to it. Let it come as fast as possible, and we'll, we are prepared for it. Great. To we'll do our best to keep the handholding process all the oh. way to the installation and yes. then running it also. Yes. And we're very excited to see the end process, too, where we can flip the switch and start generating that power and taking it for ourselves and, not, and also giving back to the grid. I can't wait. Neither can Thank I. Thank you, Thomas. Thank you, Gregory.